Redo is the second single that dropped for this project. Originally, it was the leader single for this EP, but due to creative reasons and no pun intended, I wanted to redo the song because I didn't like how it came out the first time around. But I do have a clip of me performing my first version of the song. That's part of the process of life, but the biggest thing is all or nothing. Anyone is got to go through the cycle. Don't go crazy, not trying to be a psycho. Not trying to have the hardship, not in the rough, don't be shy. Redo is that song that lets the listener know that although you might have done some things in your life that was wrong, or you might have made a few mistakes, it's not the end of the world. And when we have God on our side, there's always a second chance to redeem yourself in life. I'm not going down, I'm going up. Time to say is enough is enough. I could never fail. I'm on a new level. When I go higher up, there gonna be new devils. Don't care, I'm a fight to finish. I got restarts, new beginning. I'm no longer under the curse. I got that power, I'm out that hearse. Do you feel like you said everything that needed to be said in this project? Did you got enough? I think I was able to express everything I needed to say as it relates to this particular story. For these songs, I've never had any thought being like, oh, this could have been said this way, or this could have been said that way, or, you know, the flow could have been like this, but no, um, I, I think I got everything I needed off my chest, you know, um, I think especially just with everything that's going on right now. I'm starting to see and realize that some of these songs are starting to become a bit relatable in certain scenarios and certain situations. And that could be a bit, a bit scary when you see like, oh, I just talked about this on a particular song that I just dropped not too long ago and now stuff like this is happening, you know. Um, well, what kind of reception did you get when you were doing your, um, what are they called again? Open, uh, mics. open mics, the virtual open mics. Um, what kind of reception did you get for this EP? Oh, uh, this... I would say for the most part, I got pretty good receptions. Because when I did Live Life, even before the pandemic happened, um, people people really like Live Life, you know? that It just seems like it's like a club banger or something like that. So I guess people really like the whole hype this and stuff like that. Um, even when I performed that song a few times during the pandemic, in these some of these virtual open mics on IG or some on Zoom, I see some of the comments. People do like, "Yo, I needed that. Like that. That was something I needed just with everything that's going on." And then when I did redo, it just seemed like almost every time I performed that song, people were like, "Yo, you killed it on your flow. The beat is crazy. Uh, it like it, it's a really dope song." Like, I remember I put up a post saying like, oh, which music video or song is better? And my friend was like, yo, redo all the way. I'm just like, I'm like, I, I can see why. And, you know, he really felt like that was more uplifting and really, really impactful in a way. Like, just with, again, everything that's going on with the pandemic. And I would have to agree. Gospel. I have it on one of my playlists on my phone that I listen to. It's on my <laughs> gospel playlist see people getting on their playlists and stuff like that um i think redo definitely brought out that potential that i have like redo is definitely a challenging song for me because it's just the beat of itself and i had to switch everything around but i'm glad that the results that I produced people liked um rehabilitation and i was like well, i shared it to a few friends and i asked them like rehabilitation came up quite a few times for a few People, I was like, wow, like, okay, so people really do like the deep stuff and stuff like that. Um, people like Train the Thought as well. Um, that was also another one. <laughs> um, yeah, that that one was. I definitely, I was definitely just being honest, just letting everything out, going boss heavy, everything. I know some people may not agree with everything that's said. That's all, but it is what it is. Some Christians who 
who do a bad job of being real. You know, like, some Christians feel like once you become, you know, once you give your life to God and be like, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. I stopped going to church and reading the Bible, stuff like that. It seems like a lot of them take their brains out their head and they throw them in the trash can. They tend to act like just because you believe in God and you faith in God, that means that you're exempt from going through any issues in life. With this EP, I had to talk about this. For the last two and a half years of just going through some things, academically being artists and personal life issues, I really wanted to show people that, listen, I am far from being exempt from going through some of these issues. I've gone through a lot of issues that almost nine out of 10 people go through.